and Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and said unto them it is written my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves I want you to understand the usage of the word it den 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 of thieves den of thieves uh, let me just summarize it you know by just letting you know that a den is almost similar to a cave right and which makes it a stronghold of some sort that cannot be demolished easily so jesus was saying while you were busy making the wrong transactions the thieves were busy building strongholds that will make your answers impossible jesus said the only answer why this place is going to get rid of thieves is if this place becomes a house of prayer people of god you know one thing that prayer does is that it capacitates your spirit man with power he says in other english except this house becomes a house of power shabadi i'm afraid to let you know shabikada that it will remain a den of thieves do you know that because he has the name temple does not scare the devil but he begins to panic when prayer begins to download power let me say this prayer everyday prayer maintains communication continuous prayer produces power i wish you understood this regular prayer maintains divine communication but continuous prayer is the one that bets power excuse me pastor what do you mean by this if you just pray according to your capacity i'm afraid that all you will do is just to be maintaining communication with god but when you want to walk in power you move above that thing that moment when you start praying and then your mind tells you is enough Go beyond it and you will see power. Apostle Paul described it as laboring in prayers. Am I communicating? He said, Epaphras, who is one of your servants of Christ, saluted you. Always laboring fervently for you in prayers. People of God, the idea behind laboring in prayers that ye may stand by people of God, perfect and complete in all the will of God. For a man to get to this point where his prayers will pre 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 present people into the place of perfection and completion, he does not just pray. He does what? Labors in prayer. If you want to walk in power, don't just maintain a regular prayer life. Move it to the place of laboring in prayers. There is a generation that love prayers, but they don't love to labor. In the place of laboring in prayers is when your understanding goes numb. And the spirit of God begins to, you know, when you pray, pray and get tired and you just, it looks like the devil tells you, you've completed that your 15 minutes, that your regular 15 minutes, you've completed that your, that is why we speak in the Holy Ghost. If you push beyond that 15 minutes, you are going to find yourself in a realm you have never been to. Am I communicating? Somebody help me shout fire. Can another person help me turn the power? And Jesus said, the thieves will remain there if you don't change this place to a house of power. The thieves will remain there if you do not change the entire outlook to the place of fire. The thieves will remain there. So sir, if the devil is stealing from you, I am not sure that your house is a house of prayer.